so you get hit by a strong move at high percent on your last stock. You know you DI'd perfectly, but is there anything else you can do to survive? And if so, what? I'm G5Cosmos for Game 5 Smash, and you may have seen my previous video about the effects of directional air dodging on survivability. In that video, I tested multiple situations and found that directional air dodging made me lose a stock earlier than if I had done nothing, and I thus concluded that directional air dodging was a bad option for surviving knockback. Well, since then, I've noticed lots of top players still using this strategy, so I decided to test more situations. As it turns out, there are definitely scenarios where the directional air dodge indeed does increase survivability, but why is it inconsistent? There are so many different knockback angles and ratios of knockback growth to base knockback, so I can't be conclusive, but it seems like the air dodge is more of a negative when you're launched from closer to the blast zone, and thus more beneficial for survival when you're launched from further. But what about jumping? Well, in my testing, jumping is also inconsistent, however, I wasn't able to find any horizontal survival situations where jumping caused me to die earlier than with no action. And like the directional air dodging, jumping can aid in survival. Although recovering without a jump is dangerous, if you aren't confident that an air dodge will assist your survival, jumping seems like the best bet. For some characters, using an aerial will shift their hurtbox to be further away from the blast zone. Martha and Lucina Forward Air is a classic example, but you should test out moves with your own character to see what works for you, if anything. Additionally, some special moves can be used to cancel momentum altogether. Since you can't cancel Hitstun in Ultimate, this will still only increase survivability a tiny bit, but it's definitely worth knowing. Villager's Lloyd Rocket is objectively the best momentum cancelling special, as it cancels all momentum on frame 1. Zero Suit Samus Flip Jump is also a great option. Donkey Kong's Up B cancels momentum as well, but at the sacrifice of recovery mix-ups, and Yoshi's Egg Roll does this as well. Beware of using some special moves out of knockback. Some moves that send you forward will maintain your backwards momentum during their startup, and make you hit the blast zone much earlier than you should. Fox and Luigi's Side Bs are examples of this. If you guys would like to learn more about the game and take your gameplay to the next level, you can feel free to hit me up for private coaching. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to Game 5 Smash for more tech and tips.